Hi there guys and welcome to another Blowdum episode. So this is going to be our Vitsant episode. But before I go to Vitsant, I need to put tires on my bucky. The tires have been everywhere, Transkai and everywhere. And the guys from Palm Tires has been so kind to sponsor me with a brand new set of tires, do my wheel alignment and sort everything out. So if you are part of the Blowdum family, you've been following us and you're from the Garden Route area, please guys come and support Palm Tire. They've really gone above and beyond um, the service is the best in the area they've got amazing prices they've got amazing deals so yeah the palm tire team thank you to the palm tire team for setting this up for me um, and yeah they, they yeah, I'll show you with the drone everything that these guys do they've got all the latest equipment the best in the business so um, if you want to put uh, tires on your bucky or on your car these guys will definitely sort you out Okay, so before I head to Vetsan, there's one more stop that I have to do before I go, and that is at Extreme Fishing, um, because basically I've got everything that I need to think about. So the first thing that I need is a new cast net. Um, so, and then I need hooks, I need sinkers, I need swivels. So here they've got four foot nets, they've got six foot nets, they've got light bait buckets. Okay, so with a cast net, I also need my lock. Always go, you've seen the episodes that I used my lock fish meal, fish meal, and then also my anchovy oil. I mix that together. I'll show you later this afternoon. I'm quickly gonna get try and see if I can get live bait. Then the hooks that I'm gonna be using is the mustard demons. So I'm going on live bait, I'm going with the 6 0 mustard demon circle, and on the octopus leg, I'm going with the 8 0 circle demon um, it's just a very strong hook and it's nice and light i know it's a little bit more expensive you can go with the landed hooks they are a lot cheaper but um what's the first thing that a fish bites on somebody once told me this what's the first thing that the fish bites on you want to spend thousands on your reel you want to spend thousands on your rod your lines your braid everything but the first thing he needs to bite on his hook so get the proper hooks and i love these hooks they're very strong and they're nice and thin okay so then the next thing that i need is the line so they've got plenty of line to choose from plenty 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 of line but the one i'm going for is the daiwa sensor 6.8 kilograms so it's a daiwa sensor 6.8 i've got leader line um i'm going with a four ounce cone sinker um that's that's just i've explained before on the trace that I use on the estuaries, the cone sinker just sits a little bit better, especially when you're casting that, that wider rods, just sits a little bit better. So that's why I'm going with a four ounce sinker. And then I've got my Gully Masters and Kobe is busy with somebody else's reel at the moment. I'm going to show you quickly what they do here. So hello Kobe. Hey, slow down. <laughs> I'll see you, Andre. So Kobe is busy here with another reel, but he's going to do the exact same for me. So we're going to go with a uh, backing braid. Yes, so I've got a sail on at the moment for this backing braid. So I'm going to go grinder, backing braid, and then um, top shot the other one. So that's that's the plan on these reels. And they'll fit roughly about 400 meters on, on each reel for me. That's more than enough to stop any cop. Okay, so once I get that done, I'm off to get some bait. Good morning, and we are finally in Witsan. So if you haven't been following the whole story, first week put on new tires, and the buck is absolutely beautiful with those new Dunlop tires um, that Palm Tires put on for me. And then last night, or last, not last night, yesterday afternoon, I went to get a couple of fresh octopus, and Quentin's, yeah, Quentin's fishing with me again. You all know Quentin by now. Um, so then he's got a couple of lindworms with him, and I've also got octopus and I've got a couple of liveys that we brought from George. But we are in wonderful, beautiful Vitsant. Second to Nice, now this is probably my favorite place I've, 
I grew up here. My grandparents and my uncle owned a house here, or my grandparents used to own a house, they sold it now. But um, yeah, so we're gonna get the boats in the water quickly and then we'll show you how to rig up. We're gonna show you how to rig up with lifeboat, we're gonna show you how to rig up with octopus leg and hopefully we can catch that big, big, big cop. Uh, we're just waiting for the pushing tide and all our gears are already rigged for uh, grunters. So we're gonna quickly see if we can catch a couple of those big, big bits on grunters. Um, they do fight a lot stronger in this place. I don't know why than in Naisna or in Kleinbrak. But um, yeah, this Witsand is definitely a home of the big cop and we're here this weekend to catch one of those 30, 40 kilogram cop. Um, there's been a lot of rain, so all the estuary fresh water seems to be going out and the sea is starting to push some salt water in. So hopefully on the spring tide that will come in. But yeah, we're here for two days, so let's see what we can catch. I've changed all our gear now. I'm going to show you now how we rig up with for a couple of years. But uh, we're lying almost in the, <laughs> in the ocean, and right here in the channel. Woo, woo, look at this. Woo, yes, Buena Chiqui. Woo, yes. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is the spot that we've chosen now. Um, woo, woo. This is why you don't come here with a small boat. Check it. Yeah, so last hour of uh, outgoing tide and then the first two hours of the incoming tide we want to fish this area. kuni has got a nice fresh octopus leg there. And uh, Kuna, what size hook is that? Eito. It's an Eito circle hook. And then he's just going to hook it through the top part so that it hooks it nice and proudly. That's a nice big octopus leg. Okay, and then uh, that thing hangs in the water. Just put it in the water there. You see that? How it hangs in the water, now it goes down. But that thing floats in the water and looks like a little snake there in the water. And uh, that's like nanas for your big cop. That's what they want. So I've got a live bait in here. I'll show you later on. Uh, we just hooked the live bait, a 6 o circle look through the nose. It's a smallish live bait. So um, yeah, I've got a live bait in here. And then I'm going to throw also an ocky leg and uh, see what we can pick up but we're looking for that <laughs> we're looking we're looking for that big 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 cops um okay so the rigs that we're using i'm going to quickly explain that to you um i've got my trusty energies and two energies here today shimano's on a gully masters and then we're using a short little sinker line like that again sliding sinker and i've put beads both side of it so it doesn't tangle up and then around about i'd say 60 centimeter hook line uh, 0.70 hook line so that's around about turning one kilograms uh, there you can see it's around a yeah and then that's an 8 to 0 circle look for the octopus leg and you just saw how we hooked the octopus leg so i'm gonna get another bait in here and then uh hopefully we can show you a pop soon so kona has got a catalina method he's using a, a hori as a live bait so then he puts bait needle through the eyes and he pulls a little piece of um, Tacron. Tacron pulls it through the eyes it's a, a different way of, of hooking your, your live bait then you put the hook through both eyes uh, for, both, for both the eyes of the Tacron you twist it up and you thread it from the front, front to the back and then it sits nicely on top of the fish Okay, so that's another way of doing a live bait. You can do that with your mullets as well. Um, some people I know use a little cable tie, put it through the mouth, uh, nose, uh, through the eyes. Um, but that's that's a card, very nice way to use. It's called a Catalina, a way to hook your live bait. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so the spirit is still high, but um, it's uh, a quarter past two at the moment. And, not even a pool, <laughs> not even a, a ratchet that went off. So yeah, it's been hard fishing and all we've got to show for you <laughs> is how to put on a live bait and how to put on an octopus leg. That's all I've got so far. But like I said, the spirit is still high. Uh, Gordy says we're going to catch one today. Um, 
and if we don't catch one today we always have tomorrow to catch one <laughs> but yeah there you can see the setup uh, we've got two lines going out and then we've got our four lines here at the back spread out um, we've got one live bait uh, one choker and four octopus leg so but yeah we're pretty high up in the estuary at the moment and as you can hear and see the wind's actually pumping so um yeah what ah, i'll keep trying i'll keep trying um the thing about cop fishing especially when you're fishing for these big cops it's big baits you don't catch 10 of them at the end of the day um, so it's long hours if you want to really want to catch that big cop you have to put in the hours for that big cop so it's big baits and you have to wait for them it's not get to the spot sometimes you do catch him when you get to the spot and you cast but it's a waiting game with a big cop so let the waiting game continue so after a couple of hours of not getting a bite on the cob baits we decided to switch over to the grunter baits and uh, the tactic worked as we managed to land a couple of nice grunters ah small fish ah small fish Hey, a little bit of air check there. Hey, a little bit of air check there. Wants to come and play. Wants to come and play. Not that small. Huh? Ah. Steeny. No oh, grunter. Probably a size grunter there. No corner. Let's see, let's measure him. I've actually got a measuring stick on my boat. So let's measure the fish. Let's put the fish on the table. Now we get a nice measurement there. Hey, there, take it away. Not, not like that. 10, 20, 30, 39 centimeters, just shy of the 40 centimeter mark for a grunter. Grunter, legal size, 40 centimeters. That was 39 centimeters. Has to go back, and back limit is five fish per legal fishing license. So yeah, we were actually stopped today by uh, what, do you, what do you call them? Conservation, sand parks, and all the licenses were checked. And this is something that um, I didn't know that you are only allowed to octopus per bait license so yeah uh, we had yeah that i didn't know that so if you have four octopus even though you collected them over a couple of days on the boat we were only allowed to have four octopus because we've got two bait licenses that's all we are allowed to have on the boat so yeah so i did not know that so you don't take out too many octopus or don't bring too many octopus on your boat you can see the conditions have actually gotten worse uh, you know the wind is pumping yeah, that is waves that's coming through here so we're full on grunting fishing at the moment Yo, look at all that waves going through <laughs> so we're full on grunting fishing at the moment we've got blood worm tape worm whatever you want to call it um and yeah come here to one of my favorite spots fish grunt got a lot of grunt here on the spot so hopefully I can at least show you a grunter for today, but tomorrow it's all full systems go for cob again. Okay, so finally we've got a fish on. And as you can hear, it is pumping. Oh, this is a nice size fish. Very nice size fish. Using the current to just hang out there at the moment doesn't really want to come in we'll see once it gets a little bit closer if it's going to start the fight like a grunter normally does it's in a bird of honor there line honor there huh in a track but just don't want to get stuck in the anchor line here because we've got a anchor out at the back as well ah there we go there's those runs i was talking about yeah 
Yeah, there we go. There he goes on a run. So at least, well, I don't want to speak too soon, but at least we've got something. Ooh, just short tail there. But as you can hear, the wind is bumping. Oh, these Vitsan Grunters are definitely something special. I mean, if this was a, a Kleinbrak or a Neisner Grunter, it would be an absolute monster. But these ones in Vitsan, <laughs> they're strong compared to the Neisner ones. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna stop with Quinny. So I'm gonna pull it into the current and I'm gonna let it drift back into the net. I'm gonna show you now how to do that. Because we're not on a cabin boat, because we're on my boat, on the gecko, I've got space to do that. So, yo, it's a beautiful grunter. So what I'm doing is, I'm just gonna get it up. Yes, it doesn't wanna come up. I'm just gonna get him up in front of the, and then let him drift back in the current, here, yeah, into the net. You see, there he's up. And he goes, swims back into the net. And that is a beautiful grunt. I'll throw you in the sun. It's only got a little piece of flesh in there. Oh. Okay, super stoked. Got a grunter. Look at that beautiful grunter. Look at that thing's mouth. See, it's got a big mouth. So you can actually put a big bait out. If you're fishing for grunter, don't be shy to put out a big bait, but that is a, let's see if we can lift these fins, Hey, look at that fins, let's see if we can do it, Hey, <laughs> yo, look at that, okay, oh, there's the shot right there, fins up, oh, beautiful fish, oh, kukamakranka, now, I'm going to have good rest, <laughs> the gecko is back on the trailer, uh, one grand for today, but I'll see you guys bright and early, I'm kind of tired, we got up at 3 o'clock to get everything ready, left at 4, fished all day, so I'm kind of tired now, so I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning, and hopefully I can show you that monster cop. Good morning, welcome to day 2, okay, it's an absolutely stunning morning here at Bitsan, and I am super excited, I had a good night's nice rest, and today, the day that we are going to catch that cop. I'm going to try my very best <laughs> today, we're launching, quickly launching. Uh, and then we're going up the uh, up the river and then we'll come down a little bit later we'll come down to the channel again let's get the boat in water and let's get going Beautiful morning. Just listen to all the birds. Oh, <laughs> it's absolutely stunning. Wow. Yeah, that's so nice. So, Quinn has jumped on Buddha's boat. Um, so, I'm going to be fishing alone today. And hopefully, the solo fishing will, will work for me. But we've got a couple of other guys here from. Um, from Golden Root, also fishing. So everybody's got the same plan. <laughs> got the same idea that the fish is supposed to come in this weekend. <laughs> okay, guys. So um, yeah, I'm almost lying deep sea at the moment. You can see the waves are breaking, and you can see the way that the boat's going up and down. <laughs> you can see um, it's not a very comfortable lie at the moment. But I really, really want to catch that cop, big, big, big cop. So this is, I know this is one of the spots on the last bit of the outgoing tide. And we've got around about an hour left of the outgoing tide. So I decided I'm going to come here for the last bit of the outgoing tide. Um, but it is, yeah, like I said, it's, it's not a comfortable. <laughs> you can see the way the boat's rocking left to right, left to right and up and down. Um, but this is a very good spot. But normally <laughs> when it's a little bit calmer, not like when it's looking like this. But I'm taking a chance to come down all the way, come down here. Uh, all the other guys have gone up the river. 
but I'm going to fish this part and I can understand why nobody else is actually fishing this part at the moment. It was a little bit rocky. So I've changed my tactics a little bit. After laying and doing a two good two hours here in the mouth, uh, in the channel, I decided I'm going to come a little bit out. It's on a pushing tide now, so the fish should come through here at some stage. So I've got three rods for um, still for Granter, ah, for Cobb, and then I've got three grads for Granter that I'm fishing with lintworms. So yeah, I changed my tactics just a little bit because I'm um, getting kind of getting to. <laughs> sitting here all on my own without any fish or so I'm still going for the big cop but um maybe I can catch a couple of grunters and just have some fun in the meanwhile while I'm waiting for that big cop. <laughs> it's grunter time oh yeah baby plan seems to have worked switch over Three rocks. Oh, this is a very nice fish. Yeah, fish on. Now the trouble actually begins. <laughs> um, so yeah, the tapeworm seems to have done the trick. Oh, this is a very nice fish. I can already feel the weight of the fish. It's a very, very nice grunter. Fight is on this side. Oh, it's a decent grunter. Haven't seen it yet. But it's boxing. Oh, look at that line. And the tide, like I said, yeah, the ground is quite tight. It's a bit more difficult when you're fishing on your own.
just changed spots a little bit. I just came out to the bank a little bit more with a pushing tide. I decided I'm gonna go more onto the bank. So uh, here we go. Yeah, it's probably size. I can measure now. And then I can actually show you what it's Oh no, this one is on. Yeah, it's probably just under five. This one is definitely undersized. Here we go. So I told you I wanted to move to a spot where there's bigger grunters. And first cast. It's still on now. I think we're still on. Yeah, there it starts going. Definitely. Oh, there we go. Bigger grunters. <laughs> I was looking for. That's the biggest size fish I was looking for. Now it's turned around, it's swimming in towards me. That's the biggest size fish I was looking for. Just in the way that it's off. Oh. And this fish is acting very strange. It's actually swimming in towards me again. And then he turns around. This fish is acting really, 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 really strange. I don't know what's going on. This fish is crazy. Swimming in and out. And now it's coming towards me again. Oh. Now the fish is coming towards me again. It's gonna take off just now. Does it want to go? It's coming this way. There we go. I just put in new fresh baits. Um, there we go. There we go. I just put in new fresh baits. Um, this bait's been lying for about 10 minutes. There was nothing happening. So I put in fresh baits. Oh, there we go. Yes, yes. Head shakes. Yes. It's not a big one. It took off and I thought it was a big one. It's a decent. Oh, 
It's a small cobby. I've caught my cobby that I came here to catch, but I caught it on lint. Wait, I caught a cobby. Yes, I actually caught a cobby. <laughs> Let me get it in the net first. I got a cobby! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Guys, this is an actually amazing catch. It's a little cobby that I caught on a lintworm. Oh, there's, oh my good golly, there's another one. Which one is it? It's this one, it's this one. That's why that fish was acting so strange. I couldn't understand what was going on with that fish. And I think this must be the, might be the same thing happening here. Because the fish are acting very strange, it's coming in. And it's not acting like a grunt and diving next to the boat. I think it's the same kind of fish. You can see that head shakes there? That's more cob style. So maybe there's a school of cob that just came through. So I actually want to put this one back quickly. I just want to catch this one first. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a problem. If that rod goes now, we have, we're having... We have a problem if the third rod goes now. I think this is a grunter because it's diving right next to the boat. More, more like a grunter normally does. to get this fish back in the water got my little cob got my little cob now let's put him back So I think, oh, yeah, there's another one. I've got one on here, and there goes another rod. Double up. Okay, let's first sort out this one. Okay, so that's grunter number. Whoa, so there's grunter number 13 or 14, I don't know yet. Let's put him back, and there's another one on there. Grunter number, I don't know, 15, 14, 15. I don't know how many grunters we've caught today, but it's a lot. This is fishing South Africa, and that is how our history looks. Check those waves. Woo -hoo -hoo. 
Okay, now to get the boat back on the trailer, that's going to be a little bit of a mission. Okay guys, so I've just checked the weather forecast and it's not looking good for tomorrow and I'm really struggling on my own to put the boat in and get the boat out, um, anchors and the rear anchors and everything. So I'm just going to call it quits. December is a long holiday, so then I'll come and try and catch that big cop. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I think I ended up with 14 or 16 grand as I lost count along the way. But uh, And the one cop, I did catch one cop. <laughs> okay, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. See you guys soon.